what's up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Rashida if this is the first time you are seeing me on your screen this is my channel I do lifestyle videos I do motivational videos inspirational videos um really anything that comes to mind I mean I'm, I have been doing a lot of hair videos recently but I promise I really can't do hair <laughs> but today's video was not to ramble today's video is to talk to you about my business that I started in 2020 it is a jewelry business and um the good thing about this is that i started this business when i was 42 years old which was now kudos to everybody who started a business in 2020 this is my story and so if you're interested please stay tuned my business name is called culture charms and i started this business officially in 2020 and we'll get into all that later but i started the business officially in 2020 but i've had the idea since like 2017 2016. what it is is that i create handmade charms um and bracelets and necklaces and earrings i am wearing a pair of the earrings now if you um, i don't really know how to zoom in so let me see if i can just zoom in a little bit it's just an r I get stainless steel pendants and stainless steel, you know, um, blanks and I just put my ideas and decorations into, not decorations, my ideas and designs into those pendants, um, just like the one I'm wearing now. This has my kids initials on it. So, you know, you guys know I have four kids or you may not know. I have three daughters and one son and I have their initials on this, um, on these pendants, hearts and they're on the chain which is a stainless steel chain okay so mainly i do personalized and custom pieces most of the stuff that i've been making recently has been a lot of personalized and a lot of custom orders mainly what you will find on my etsy site is probably going to be initials zodiacs and a lot of my custom um name bracelets i'm adding new items once a week so that you can have a variation of um, items that i that I offer so where did I get the idea for charm bracelets so I purchased a charm bracelet from a really popular store a couple of years ago and um, it had a little camera on it it had the Paris Eiffel Tower it had um, I think a little lipstick on it but after like a couple of weeks it rusted on me and I lost one of the charms and I know this might sound cliche, but I was like, um, I think I could have made this myself. So that's exactly what I decided to do. And I'll put a couple of screenshots in for you so you can see what I'm currently making and what they look like. So my charms are not your everyday charms. These are not charms that um, you can just find anywhere, obviously, because I hand make them and I design them from scratch. I just wanted to be different and unique. I didn't want my charms to look like anything you've ever seen. So initially, back in 2017, my sole purpose was to go on was to go online and, and just buy charms and put them on a bracelet. And that was going to be my, my business. I make charm bracelets. But um, after a while, I was thinking, like, I don't want to have a middleman i don't want to have to pay somebody else to make my charms i don't want to pay somebody else to send me like handmade charms i wanted it to be as unique as possible i want you to be able to have a piece of jewelry that you can um cherish for the rest of your life you could put your grandma's name on it your mom's name the date your baby was born your kids i mean literally the possibilities are really endless with this the way that i do it and i'm really really proud of it 2018 is when i went to my state's uh website i live in pennsylvania and that's how i got my dba my dba is doing business as because i'm a sole proprietor i chose sole proprietorship just because i was new to it and i really didn't know what direction i wanted to go in as far as handmade or if i was just going to be a vendor or use vendors and just put ready-made charms on a bracelet if i was going to purchase wholesale or make wholesale so i decided to just stay as a sole proprietor for right now and um so i'm doing business as culture charms i also went to my small business development center so if you live in pennsylvania please check out your small business development center in your in your county it's called the charter and i think that's you know you would go to your 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 county's charter in that charter you will get a designated business coach i've been working with this coach for two years 
she is helpful they get paid to come out to you and this was like before covid so i would meet her at my library and it's did i say it was free like i get free consultation free advice from her she came to me with stacks of papers so that i would know the difference between an llc a corporation sole proprietor if you want to get a business license if you want to get a wholesale license she taught me everything i'm so grateful for her and you know the, the 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 small business development center um yes so they do come out to you she met me at my local library and even my husband because my husband is starting a business as well so she came out and met both of us a wealth of information so please if you live in pennsylvania go look it up go to google look up your small business development center's information start out the right way because i wanted somebody who was familiar and had knowledge about small businesses i mean it, you can go to google you can go on youtube and hear you know tons and tons of videos about starting a business but every state has different laws and regulations and you need to abide by those rules and regulations so in 2020 i started crafting i bought machines i bought all this equipment i bought a whole bunch of crafting supplies michael's joann's i was in these stores like every day buying supplies because i didn't know what my look was going to be i didn't know how i was going to form formulate everything i was just still doing a lot of research and i wasn't really ready to sell anything yet and then the pandemic happened I just decided you know what let me just take a break and this is the time for me to do research this is the time for me to practice my craft hone in on it and just get better at it and that's exactly what i did so for a whole year just about i was well i'm not i'm not gonna say a whole year so like six seven months is when um how long it took me to develop my craft and to get better and better and better at it and I was, there's still room for improvement i'm not perfect perfect at all I just you know videos and research and then i just got better and better and better and right now my product i'm really pleased with it also, although i'm looking at other um ways to create the same thing using a designer wasn't something i wanted to do and that was uh, a decision i decided to make when i decided to um make these charms handmade i had to find a way to make them myself i didn't want a middleman i didn't want to pay anybody else to do my designs and not only that i didn't want anybody to steal my designs like i don't have i didn't have the money to purchase a lawyer i didn't want that designer to take my idea and basically use it for their own purposes so the the best thing that you can do for yourself if you are a creator is to make it yourself that's the only way you can I'm not gonna say foolproof your designs, but you can trademark it. I do plan on trademarking. I have, I'm working with my business coach right now to trademark my designs, trademark my, my style. And, um, oh, my button was open, sorry. I'm gonna add photos in here so that you can see what my products look like. I think I said that already. But, so I also, my logo, I went to Fiverr. Fiverr is a freelancing website where you can get help with designing a website, um, creating the website, photography. I mean, Fiverr is a very, very resourceful um, place to be. But you have to be careful because a lot of people on Fiverr will say that they know how to do stuff and they can't. How is their customer service? Do they get back to you in time? Are they skilled? Do Are they, you know, professional? So just look at the comments and the reviews to see if uh, Fiverr will be a place for you to, to use. Um, Yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to introduce you to my business again. Um, I am on Instagram at Culture Charms. I do have an Etsy shop that is Etsy.com forward slash shop Culture Charms. And that's Culture with a K and um i would love for you to stick around i know i have a whole bunch of new subscribers so thank you so much for subscribing um i'm still trying to build my little community on here i've been on youtube for like three years now 
and um, I know if you just subscribe please stay with me because um, this might be different content than what you were expecting but I'm still on the side of inspiration and motivation I'm here to motivate you I'm here to inspire you to reach your dreams and to do everything that you ever wanted to do because if I could do it you could do it and I'm not saying like my business is booming and I'm you know I'm, I'm, I'm sold out I'm not I'm still a beginner I'm still in the beginning stages and I, I, I like being in this phase because I'm not overwhelmed yet I don't want to be overwhelmed but I'm not overwhelmed yet and I'm not like oh my god I have to do all these orders it's I'm not even there yet and that's okay because I'm building my client base I'm building my customers people need to find out who I am before they can find out what my product is and that's what I'm really trying to do with my YouTube channel and also my Instagram but in the same process I am creating and I do have customers so if you're looking for birthday gifts, the Valentine's Day is coming up. I am currently working on my website. The website is done. I'm just adding photos and descriptions at this point. So yeah, go ahead and check out my Etsy shop. I will try to be more consistent. I'm not going to make promises because you can't promise um, anything anyway. But I'm going to try to be more consistent, especially on YouTube. And so that you guys can see how I'm doing in my business and so please don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up button like this video if you like it and I will catch you in the next one bye